Hi everyone, this is Veronica. So today our topic of discussion is about Iravadi dolphins. So this topic is very important. So there is high probability such questions can be asked in your UPSC prelims because environment ecology part is very important. For my video updates and queries, you can connect with me on Instagram and Facebook because I feel together we can make a difference. So today is the last day of Republic Day sale, seventy percent off on our pen drive and Android courses, which is valid till twenty seven Jan twenty twenty. So here I'll tell you about the relevance of this topic. So mains paper three it will be covered in conservation, environmental pollution, and degradation. At objective level, you should know about these dolphins. Ah, uh, through subjective level, uh, the importance is not much, but still, if we talk about conservation efforts, that is important. Okay. So in what context today we are studying this? Because One forty-six Iravadi dolphins were recently sighted in Chilika Lake of Odisha. So this was basically a dolphin census going on in Chilika Lake, and direct sighting of one forty-six Iravadi dolphins has been reported. So this census is being carried out by using a hydrophone monitoring technique. So let me write here the technique they are using here is hydrophone monitoring technique. Okay, so this hydrophone is a microphone which is designed to be used underwater for recording or listening to the underwater sound, right? So that is how they are performing this census. So for Iravadi dolphins, you should know their scientific name: Oracella brevirostaris. Okay, this is the scientific name. You can you can try to remember it also. So these are basically found in the coastal areas in South and Southeast Asia. So there are three rivers where they are majorly found: Irrawaddy in Myanmar, Mahakam in Indonesia, Borneo, and Mekong in China. This is very important. And then this is important: their status in the IUCN Red List that is endangered. So these are the endangered species. So the total population of these aquatic mammals in the world. Is estimated to be less than seventy five hundred, and more than six thousand Irrawaddy dolphins have been reported from Bangladesh also. And dolphin uh, distribution in Chilika is considered to be the highest single lagoon population. So, talking about lagoon, so lagoon are basically the areas, the water bodies which are separated by the bigger water bodies by some natural barrier. The natural barrier could be sand, could be a uh, coastal reefs okay they can act as barrier so this is the asia's largest and world second largest lagoon so the question for you here is then what which is the world's first largest or just largest lagoon lake you can tell me in the comment box so look at the map here it is eastern coast of india odisha and here is the chilika lake so it lies on the east coast of india in state of odisha which is separated from mighty bay of bengal by a small strip of sand as i told you lagoon they are separated by natural barriers in case of chilika lake it is sand so it is largest wintering ground for migratory birds also so for all the migratory birds you can uh, spot them here on the indian subcontinent and it is home to a number of threatened species of plants and animals okay in 1981 chilika lake was designated as first indian wetland of international importance under ramsar convention okay under ramsar convention in 1981 it was given the importance of wetland of international importance there are major attractions at chila chila uh, chilika lake one is your iravadi dolphins tourists come to see them which are often spotted off satpada island and the large nalabana island so see the pronunciation can differ here from the natives like so from the people from odisha they can better tell me how these names are pronounced so the large nalaban nalabana or nalaban island these are known as i'll tell you forests of reeds okay so they cover around 16 square kilometer in the lagoon area and they were declared as a bird sanctuary in 1980 Seven. So I'm telling you about major attractions near in Chilika Lake. So there, then there is Kali Jai Temple, okay, or Kali Jai Temple, however it is pronounced. So this is located on an island in the Chilika Lake only. So you should know about something about Chilika because about Chilika, some questions in pre previously in prelims were asked 
about Chilika Lake. Okay, so you should know about these. Now we'll talk about the features of these Iravadi dolphins. See their distribution areas. I have already told you a few. Then it again matters. They have been found from Philippines and into the northern, uh, this northeastern part of India also. And they are also found around the waters of Indo-Pacific. Basically, they tend to stick to shallow water areas around the coast. They are one of the few species of dolphin that can survive in freshwater location. Okay, so their features, they have bulging forehead as you can see, short beak. They pop out their head out of the water to breathe followed by its back and their status I already told you is endangered. So they dive. Diving is quite frequent in their case like every 70 to 150 seconds they have to come up for air. Often it is only the head and perhaps the body that is seen when they surface for air. So they also tend to live in pods. They live in groups with smaller number than other dolphins. They are very highly social. But there may be from 3 to 6 members per pod. So they are very curious about the surroundings. And have been observed looking around when they surface for air to see what is around them. So whenever you see them coming out of water they will look around. Because they are considered very curious. So at this point in time this Iravadi uh, dolphin as I told you. They are threatened. They are endangered. And around if we talk about Thailand there have been noted declined numbers and hat is hu that is very huge concern the mortality rate is often blamed on commercial fishing entities and they are often encouraged to use safer equipment fishermen also encouraged to watch out for dolphins in their nets so that they can be released so the loss of habitat due to dams, mining and other efforts also seem to be a problem for the dolphin and their survival. So it can be tough though to get those type of events stopped in order to protect them. But in the areas of like Cambodia, we have Vietnam, Laos, it is illegal to hunt the Iravati dolphin. However, enforcing such laws has proven to be very very difficult. So here we'll talk about their behavior a little bit in detail. See, communication is carried out with clicks, creaks. So they have a very dominant frequency of about 60 kilohertz. And if you talk about what they feed upon, they feed upon bony fishes, fish eggs, cephalopods, crustaceans like you have prawns. They were taken as food. And Iravadi dolphins are very shy also sometimes, although very social but shy of boats, not known to bow ride and generally dive when alarmed. So they are relatively very slow moving but can sometimes be a seen as spy hopping and rolling to one side while waving a flipper and occasionally breaching also. So they have interspecific competition which we have observed when Iravadi dolphins were forced inshore and excluded by more specialized dolphins. So then then what is more important here mating so female or male dolphin will attempt to pursue a mate for about few minutes only then intervene facing their bellies together and begin to copulate for 40 seconds then after copulation they break away from each other and they set off in different locations so these dolphins are thought to reach sexual maturity we'll talk about so they reach their sexual mature, maturity in seven to nine years so in the northern hemisphere if we talk about specifically this is reported the mating time is reported to be december to june so its gestation period is 14 months gestation periods like cow give birth to a single calf every two to three years right so uh, their length of child when it is born the baby dolphin when it is born is one meter that is 3.3 feet and this is at the time of birth and birth weight is about 10 kg that is 22 lb okay you can remember in kgs so weaning is after two years and lifespan of this dolphin is about 30 years so these are some facts about this dolphin so here it is important to talk about their habitat although sometimes they are known as a river dolphin but that is will be a misnomer because it is not true this is not a river dolphin but an oceanic dolphin that lives in brackish water brackish water is where your fresh water and sea water it combines so brackish water is has more salt than your fresh water and less salt than your sea because the both the waters are mixing here so it is found mostly in lagoon lakes like in chilika lake so this is the brackish water so they live in brackish water
so if we talk about in what countries they are found they are found in bangladesh in coastal waters of bay of bengal and even in the brackish sundarbans mangrove forest then you can find them in india in brackish water of chilika lake presence is also recorded from sundarbans national park also then you have laos and cambodia they are found there also in a 190 km fresh water stretch of mekong river i already mentioned that then you can found them in indonesia that is 420 in a 420 km stretch of fresh water mahakam river then you have philippines okay so it in brackish water of malampaya sound and researchers are studying their recent discovery of 30 40 dolphins which were sighted in pulu pandan and bago negros occidental in western visayas so in some other area of philippines where they were not usually found now they are being found then you have burma you have myanmar then you are finding them in fresh water stretch of one river then they are even found in thailand where the numbers have recently declined in the brackish water of songkhla lake the lake here is songkhla lake okay that is about the habitat so last i will talk about uh, their interaction with humans so their interaction with human is very very mutualistic how i am saying mutualistic they are cooperative in fishing with traditional fishers so fishers in india they recall when they would call out to the dolphins by tapping on wooden key also known as lahai kave so they call it wooden key is lahai kave however they pronounce it okay so against the sides of their boats they ask the iravadis to drive fish into their nets so they have a mutualistic relationship but however the conflict between dolphins and animal uh, humans it is growing because they get caught up in the nets which they use for the fishing the techniques and equipments which are not safe for them so their population is also declining and obviously there are threats from anthropogenic causes human causes to this fish and from climate change also so we have to save this fish conservation efforts are going on but today we talk about prelims uh, specific only uh, which could be asked in your mcqs or objective uh, part of questions so this is all about today's lecture thank you